Hello, Five Guy Flowers RC coming to you from the man cave. This is the all new, just released. Hadn't even, I'm the first, I, from what I can see online, I'm the first one in the United States to get this from Freewing. I got it directly from RC Castle. It was released, finally released on the 9th, and then they pushed it back to the 12th of December. That's when I ordered it, and I just got it the other day in the mail. And Motion RC hasn't even made a, a mention of it yet and anything on their line site, on their uh, website. So I've got it before Motion RC can releases it. And I personally don't know of anyone else in the United States who sells it. I've also seen absolutely no stateside videos on this plane yet. This is the Freewing um, L15 slash JL10. All right. It comes, it's supposed to come with thrust reverse. And it comes, it's coming with our new generation of, uh, six axis guard gyro now i put it together y'all watch the unboxing in the, in the build video there's a little pin that is supposed to come from with the i bought the 6s version with the upgraded gear it comes with two sections the plug and play on 4s and then a plug and play on 6s with upgraded suspension all right now i, I opted for the upgraded suspension but the suspension uh nose it's supposed to have a little metal pin sticking out of the top of it that you shove, that you put into the little post that's hanging down here, and you got grub screws that tighten up to it, and you get a working nose gear. All right. Mine didn't have that pin, so I had to manufacture my own pin out of an old Allen wrench, made it about an inch long, put it in there, and you and I say by Allen wrenches, they have flat places already on them, and that's where the grub screws attach. So now I've got that accomplished. In the instruction, it clearly states that off your throttle lead is a yellow signal lead for your reverse. That comes with the 4S and the 6S. Mine just did not have that yellow lead, just a plain throttle cable. So I do not have thrust of reverse. And there's nothing else in the instruction that says if you don't have that. Uh, it says you clearly have that pin or that pigtail hanging off to for a thrust reverse. Mine does not have it. So they didn't put me a thrust reversing ESC in here. So I'm going to complain to, um, you know, I'll show that in the video. Well, let me just go ahead and show you. Well, real quick, while I got it on the stand, I'm sorry. This is the CG. The CG is already marked underneath the wings, okay? And it is, for the number's sake, what's that, 80 to 90? It's, no, 87 millimeters back from the leading edge root where the, the wing touches the root or the, the fuselage. 87 millimeters back, but it's also marked underneath the wing. If you see this little indentation on the wing, you go in, you feel the, the actual CG uh, lettering is actually marked on the page. Now, I'm going to be on the wing. I'm going to be running a 2700 6S with an XT60. That's what it has, XT60. And now I'm going to show you where I have that marked or where I have it at. Okay. You see, she's sitting nice and level with just an ever so slight nose up, which I kind of like that. Okay, I'd rather, you know, I kind of have to keep my finger on the stick in order to get her, of course you should anyways, but to, to bring her in. So it's just slightly ever so nose up, okay, which is the way I like my jets to be. So she CGs perfectly, but let me show you where that translates to um, in the model, okay. That's where I've got the 2700, that white part's part of the battery, shoved all the way back, puts it about a good, almost, may not quite, maybe a third of the way for the battery strap in there. So let me go ahead and mark that real quick so that I know where to put my battery when I'm at the field. Okay. And what I do, and I'll show you just a second, I'm going to make a little hash mark there. And I'll extend the hash mark up here, and I'm going to put 2700. All right, so then I know, see, what I did was I took a little hash mark, the line here at the end of the battery, and I know that at 2700 from there back 
is where I'm going to put it. So if it's a bigger battery, like a 3000, which is about as big as you're going to get, I would put it slightly further back than that. And if it's a fourth or a under like a 2200 6S or 2500 6S, I would come forward just a touch. But that gives me my baseline. Okay. I'm very, like I say, I'm very upset because I don't have thrust reversing and it doesn't have retract. But it, I know it didn't have retracts, but I, I obligated a seven channel receiver so that I could have thrust reversing. Well, it ain't got thrust reversing. However, it does have the new 6S gyro system. That's their, that's their new 6S guard, and it's right there. Okay, I'm going to show you when it's blue, that's beginner mode or self level. Okay, intermediate mode when it's green. Okay, that's the same as AS3X. Now, I'm just had to figure this out because it also came with no manual at all on this. Uh, guard. I just know it's called the six uh, six x six axis guard. And then when the light's out, the light is out. Then you've got nothing. You've got no kind of gyro gyro uh, help at all. So intermediate mode, self level, or self or beginner mode. Okay. Now I have set my rates uh, as about cl close to book as I can get it. Let me just show you what it looks like. This is my high rates, okay, on Aeon elevator rudder. My high rates are 100% throws over 20% expo, okay. My mid rates are 85, okay, over 20% expo. And my low rates are 70 over 20% expo. Okay? My flaps, let me show you what my flaps look like. The manual does say you must have a flap mix. Okay? That will not, it will balloon on you when you uh, deploy land, takeoff flaps and landing flaps. So it does require a mix. So what I've got. Um, for on a spectrum for fl for flaps up is a negative hundred percent. I got this on a two second deployment, by the way. For a takeoff, I have it a negative fifty with a ten percent down elevator, and then for landing, landing flaps. I have positive fifty percent with a twenty five percent down elevator. Now they give you they give you fractions in the manual, and based upon the picture of the flat, the back of the flat versus the uh, front of the elevator, that that's fairly close to what they're talking about. Now the other thing is I uh, it doesn't say anything in the, in the manual, but when I put lock down my uh, um, elevator, I made the bottom of the elevator level, perfectly level with the end of the side of the fuselage there. To where when I put my finger there, I don't feel, I don't, just solid right there. And the way that translates on top is it looks like it's slightly, slightly up. I would deal, I would much rather deal with an airplane slightly going up on me are, are, are ballooning on me than I would an aircraft constantly diving on me. Okay? It's just easier to deal with. And of course, you know, as I fly her for the first time, I'll, I, you know, it may look perfectly trim, but until you fly her, you just don't really know. Now, the elevator, the elevators are the elevators I had to adjust. The rudder was perfectly trim visually. And the ailerons and the flaps, they line up perfectly with the fuselage and the wings. So mechanically looks like zero trim needed. Now I will tell you, this is not one, this is not going to be one of their high-end 80 millimeter models, okay? I'm going to predict, let's see how close I am with Motion RC. I'm going to predict this airplane to come in at $189. Okay? Maybe. 219, somewhere between 189 and 219. So they're going to put that somewhere in there. 
because RC Castle usually sells their free wing stuff about 20 to 30 bucks cheaper than Motion RC, and this was 179, but you gotta pay $60 of shipping. The reason I got this model is number one, I wanted it, it looks cool, it's something nobody's got. And I wanted to be able to put it together and show you that, and then tomorrow's gonna hopefully, hopefully tomorrow will be the maiden, and you can make a, a better decision before Motion RC and or anybody else puts their videos out. And, and nothing against Motion RC, they have very comprehensive maidens and and build videos and all that. But you have to understand, they have a professional studio, they have all that professional camera gear, they have all these people that do this for a living, so they're going to present this thing awesome, and it's going to look awesome. You're going to be, oh, I want that. Okay, which they should. They're in business. It's a business first. They've got to feed their families and, and pay their stockholders. Um, so I understand that. But when I present this, I'm not an affiliate. I get nothing for reviewing their planes. I pay the same amount for this thing as you do. But if I can show it to you and say, this is what I don't like, this is what I do like, now you can make a little bit more of a decision of what, uh, a, on what you want to buy instead of just looking at their really high price marketing. Okay, nothing against them. That's what they should do. But if I don't, if I, you know, if I'm buying this through my wallet and I'm flying it through my wallet, and if I say, hey, this is wrong, or hey, this is great, it's a little more of a, to me, it's a little more honest. Not, not say they're emotional. He's not honest. I'm just, you know, they're out to make money. They can't feed their family or pay the bills if they don't make money, all right? I bought this because I want to present it to you before they put their nice commercial out on it. And uh, besides, I wanted something cool and something different. And uh, the plane ferry said you were getting another plane. And I said, well, I don't have room for another plane. And the plane ferry said, deal with it. And I said, okay. So break my heart, right? Um, drawbacks. Did not come with thrust, uh, thrust reverse and ESC. I have gone through these wires, okay? Now, RC Castle, I will have, I will take this part. RC Castle, I want you to pay attention. You sold me this plane. It's supposed to have thrust reverse. All right. There is my throttle cable plugged into the top of my receiver. There is no yellow or a little signal wire coming off of this throttle cable anywhere that I can find that will give me thrust reverse, okay? Also, RC Castle, there's a pin that's supposed to be installed in this articulate gear for these grub screws to, to hook up to. There was no pin in there. I had to manufacture my own. I had to take a piece of, piece of uh, Allen wrench and cut it down and put it in there. So that's bang on y'all for not making sure your model's not complete before you sell it. So. I'll send that this part of the video to you. Well, anyways, folks, thank you for watching. Um, the CG, like I said, you saw it was perfect. Now um, the markings are just just underneath. Put your hatch back on before you check it. The markings are. You find your missiles here, and right there. Okay, it's just perfect right there. So there you go. Um, Model looks great. The foam does feel a little bit soft, okay, but this is not one of the high-end models. The screws do not go into metal screws into metal brass fittings. They go into hard plastic fittings. So once you bottom them out, leave them alone. Okay, don't be this model small enough, you shouldn't be taking these wings on and off anyways. Okay. Um, these little pieces of fin that I had to glue on, there is nothing in the instructions about them. There's no picture, there's no mention. However, they were in there, so that, by deductive reason, I figured that's where those have to be glued in. Uh, everything else is covered. You sent no instructions on this gyro system. I'm just supposed to figure it out. And, he, and, I, and my other issue is, what if I'm flying and they're wind mitigation or you know their AS3X what if it's oscillating I'm supposed to be able to go in there and turn my knob down and, and, and uh, fix the gains well with no instructions on the gyro I have no way of knowing how to assign a switch for a gain you know without just 
keep playing with it until I figure it out. Instructions would be great if it came with the, on the gyro if it came with it. So these are things that you as the buyer and RC Castle in Motion RC, you need to be looking out. Get these things straightened out before you bring this fully to the market. All right, folks. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, excuse me. And like I said, this is the all-new, completely brand-new released um, L15 slash JL10 from Freewing, a uh, Chinese fighter trainer. Thank you for watching. God bless each and every one of y'all. And don't forget, Faye family and friends, then cool jets that have a few issues. <laughs> Bye.